So today's problem is I've tried to delete a user from seeing my Google Calendar, but they don't stay deleted. Or alternatively, even though I've deleted them, they can still see my calendar's events. So this can happen to anyone, a regular user in your business, or even yourself as a Google Workspace administrator. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff, and I offer usable and practical advice on how to solve your small business problems with Google Workspace. So there's two things to check first. Have you given your whole business permission to view your calendar? This is usually set up by default. And if someone is in your business, then they'll still be able to see your calendar, even if you delete them from the share with specific people section. So in this scenario, you can see that I've shared my calendar with novice to see all event details, which they can see here. I now choose to delete them. And if I go back to their calendar, they see free and busy now because that's the default for the organization. The second thing to try is to open an incognito window and then log into Google Calendar from there, then try and delete the user. If that still doesn't work and you've confirmed that your whole business doesn't have permission to see your calendar, then there is a slightly fiddly way to fix it, but I promise that it's actually quite simple to do. There's just a bit of copying and pasting required. So the first thing you're going to do is open a browser tab. And yes, this link is in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. This is basically a way for you to talk to the back end of Google Calendar. Then on the right hand side of the window, click try it and then type the word primary in the calendar ID field. If you're trying to remove someone from a secondary calendar that you own, then open up your Google Calendar, go to the sharing and settings for that calendar, click on integrate calendar and copy, copy the full calendar ID here and paste it into the calendar ID field. You can also do this for any other user within your organization. Just type their username, which is usually their email address into the calendar ID field if you want to amend their primary calendar or ask them to send their secondary calendar ID to you. Now, under rule ID, type user and colon and the full email of the user that you want to remove. So for example, novice. Click the blue icon next to add request body parameters and select role and then click on role. Exactly where the cursor is, type none between the quotation marks, then scroll down and click on execute. You'll probably be asked to give permission to the Google API, say yes to everything. You'll then see some green code which indicates that the user has been removed. And if you go back to your Google Calendar settings, you'll be able to see that for yourself. Remember though, in this case, because Novice is a member of my Google Workspace training organization, if I go back to that account, they can still see the busy set up for my calendar. If I don't want them to see anything and I don't want anybody to see anything, I need to remove this access from my calendar altogether. And you can see that that's now gone. You can also use these steps to remove external users, which is very handy. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was of assistance to you, but if you want more personalized help, then why not book a free 30 minute consultation with me? The link is in the description. And remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.